Ever had a little trouble deleting a resource in Lotus Notes? This will answer it. One of the little tricks with calendaring and scheduling a lot of times is you'll have a resource that's no longer used. It could be an LCD projector, it could be a room that has now been repurposed for something else, but you just want to remove it from the calendaring system so no one can try to reserve it anymore and also get rid of the previous reservations. One thing you'll notice though when you're inside of one of the resource documents is you can edit. I could change who owns it, I could change the times, but there's no way to delete it. If we look at the tools menus, the edit menus, the delete button is grayed out, there's nothing there, there's nothing you can do with it. So what you need to do is we need to take a look at the roles that are available for this database. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this in just a second after we modify the ACL. So we'll go to the access control and you'll see, I'll highlight my name for this test database, and you'll see there is a create resource, so it's create. So you would think, well it's only when I want to create new ones. Well watch what happens, we'll say OK. And then of course we will go through our security real quick and lock our notes ID which basically clears the cache. The thing we should do first though is go ahead and close the database. We'll lock the ID and then we'll come back in. Now that we've closed the database and then did the security lock to actually lock the ID so we rebuild the cache, you'll now see that we have a new button when we reopen the resource called delete resource. So that role for create resource has a dual purpose. It is for both delete and to create the resource itself. Without it, you won't be able to remove it and submit the request to push it through. So just a quick tip for you in dealing with your calendar and scheduling problems in Lotus Notes.